Welcome back guys to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Let's talk about Resident Evil 4, the Resident Evil 4 remake that's going to be coming up this year. I am super excited for this game. I know a lot of people have been ant anticipating this game just as much as I have. And, you know, they're going to be reimagining the, re the original Resident Evil 4. I, I remember as a kid playing the game back on the, the GameCube and then playing it for the Wii and then playing it for the PC and then playing it for the PlayStation. And like, you know, I had it for like every single console and I'm just, I'm super excited. But my question is tonight, is Resident Evil 4 Remake going to be worth your money? Especially if you're going to be pre-ordering it. We're going to take a look at some uh, different editions of the game. Uh, we're going to talk about the different editions and see if, you know, if they are going to be worth your money. Me personally, seeing what they have to offer for the different editions of the game, I think they're definitely going to be worth it, right? I, I think for those who are big and big collectors and want to collect game items and whatnot, I, I think it's going to be cool to collect them and to have them in your, in your collection of games. Now, some of the pre-orders that we're going to look at, they're not, they're not super exciting. Like maybe for me personally, they might be different for you and you might have been waiting forever to pre-order the game. So for me, you know, the dishes just look okay. So we're going to head over to the official website and the official website has three different editions. The first one is the standard edition, which just come with, you know, the base game and all that. And you'll actually get for pre-ordering the mini soundtrack. And actually you'll also get the Itachi case, the gold, and you'll get the charm handgun ammo which is kind of like a little trinket that goes on your pistol or whatever your handgun right in the game so i guess you know it's kind of cool let's take a look at the deluxe edition the deluxe edition actually is going to give you a lot more it's going to give you what we just talked about plus it's going to give you the attache classic case and it's going to give you the green herb uh, little trinket that's going to go on your handgun and they're also going to offer you a bunch of costumes for leon so we're actually going to have the leon and ashley costumes casual the romantic the filter the hero which that should be interesting the villain then that's kind of cool because look at you kind of get the game into like this castlevania type look and that's gonna be creepy right i mean the game already looks creepy enough i can't imagine playing it with <laughs> this filter turned on and look at leon looks cool he looks like he's all emo and goth so that's gonna be cool you're gonna get a special deluxe weapon called the sentinel nine which you can see here you're gonna get a bolt action rifle or a shotgun i guess you should say called the skull shaker so that looks sick you're gonna get a treasure map expansion so i don't know what this exactly means i don't know if this means that there's gonna be like more treasure i'm assuming it just means what it means right expansion you're gonna get more treasure than you would just people with the normal base game it's just going to give you a map where it shows you where the treasure is are they going to add more treasure in the game if you pre-order i don't know you know, that's going to be a good question. You're going to get a Leon uh, sunglasses that come with him if you want to pre-order it. And then you're also going to get the original version soundtrack swap. So that's cool. So you, if you're a big fan of the original music back in Resident Evil 4, the original game, you can actually get the original uh, OST that came with it. So that's going to be pretty cool. Let's take a look at the collector's edition. The collector's edition is going to come with the Resident Evil 4 uh, steel case book, which you can see here. It's going to come with the extra DLC pack product code. So it'll come with, you know, all the outfits and everything we just talked about. It's going to come with the digital soundtrack for the game. So if you're a big fan of Resident Evil 4 music, you can listen to the soundtrack. You're going to get a figure, a Leon S. Kennedy statue. That's really cool, right? Uh, he definitely does look a lot different, but they, they did keep the original jacket and stuff, which was pretty iconic in the original version of the game. So that's that's cool to keep. You're going to get an art book of the game. They're going to show you how they made the game and different versions of it. You're going to see a special map. Apparently, I'm assuming this is going to be like a poster that you can put on your wall. That's going to be my guess, which more than likely, that's probably what it is. Um, I don't think it's a special map as in maybe in game. Maybe, you know, maybe you'll get a special map in the game. Who knows? And then, of course, you'll get the collector's box, which will have probably have all these items inside of it. Other than obviously the... Um, well, actually, actually, it might have everything because I don't think there's anything. Well, yeah, obviously, uh, the digital stuff you can't, right? It's in the video game. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's going to be a cool little box you can put everything in. 
So these are just stuff that you can get when pre-ordering the game. You know, the game's coming out this year, so I'm excited to play it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be scary at the same time. And I think that it's definitely going to be worth your money if you pre-order, especially if you're a big collector. I would definitely say go for the collector's edition. From what I've heard, the collector's is already sold out. So if they do bring back more pre-orders, you could probably go for it. Um, I'm personally going to be playing it on Steam. So that's probably going to be me. But they don't offer the collector's edition for Steam, which it, which I'm, I'm really I'm really interested to see that because they're more focused on the consoles than they are the PC this time around, especially with the collector's edition. But I guess that makes sense, right? Being Capcom. I mean, obviously they come out with Windows versions of their games, but I guess that makes sense, right? To focus more on the console. I'm definitely gonna be playing with an Xbox controller, even playing on the PC. So that makes sense. You can get the deluxe edition with steam so that's pretty cool at least and also the standard so but that's interesting you can't get the collector's edition with uh the steam or the p the windows pc version so but anyways guys i'm excited for this game i think it's going to be awesome i can't wait to play it i'm definitely going to do a live playthrough of it when i get it so that's going to be cool to play you can see me scream and yell and cry like a little girl um <laughs> when i play the game because i'm sure i'm gonna be super scared but it's gonna be so much fun i can't wait to relive my childhood and play this game I, I know just like all other people they played this game so much i played basically every single version of it so it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun can't wait i think it looks incredible capcom does excellent work always with their game so capcom's definitely been on a roll coming from resident Evil village was amazing and yeah it's it's gonna be fun so if you guys enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more Resident Evil 4 remake content. And as always, my name is Nathan, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.